Hi, my name is Frankie Nelson. I'm a high school teacher from Toronto, Canada. I've been married for 11 years to my wonderful husband, BJ, and I have a seven-year-old son named Milo. In Canada, a photo of ours went viral and that led to a lot of people reaching out to us just privately through social media and other things. And so when Ron asked me to be a board member, I thought it would be a great fit. Um, I also thought it would be a great way to meet uh, other dads. I'm already an educator and I just like to help people through this process. I think that an organization like MHB has to exist. I mean, one for the GPAP program. I mean, there's no other program that I know of that helps men have babies through helping fund the process and giving them discounts. You know, a surrogacy is pretty expensive. And so it's really important that men having babies is there to guide men through this process. There's just really no one else out there to do that. Coming here this weekend, I wanted to, I, the first thing I asked my son was, um, he never really talks about it, but I said, do you get <coughs> bullied at school? I want to know, like, do you, does anyone ever make fun of you because you don't have a mom? And he said, no, no one ever bothers him about that. And he said, and I, you know, pursued a little bit more. He goes, but a lot of people ask me if I'm adopted. As the only Canadian board member on the team, you know, the questions that I get asked more are about the process in Canada. and. And you know, it's often about money and funding this process. It can be so expensive, and so I get a lot of questions about, you know, how to save money, what's best practices for that, and then I get a lot of questions about what it's like to do surrogacy in Canada or abroad. If you come to Canada, it's very simple for us Canadians to have. Uh, we both get uh, both of our, uh, me and my husband both get on the the birth certificate right away, and we're both considered parents. But I understand if you bring your baby back, you you will have to do a. Um, second parent adoption when you come back. My advice to most of the men that I speak is to try not to make this too complicated. The whole process is complicated enough and I often seek people, you know, whether or not when it's, they're looking for an egg donor or a surrogate and they get too caught up in some of the finer details, <laughs> like, you know, she has to be 6'1 or, or other things. I just try and, you know, remember that the end goal is to have a, a healthy baby. And some, and you, you know, I learned through this process is you can't control anything. And so trying to control the size or the height or the, the brains or the knowledge of your child is impossible. So just make, try and make it as easy as possible. Mm -hmm.